is Stramash. It's a brand new Scottish board game. It's an adaptation of classic chase games, a bit like Ludo or Sorry or Frustration, but it's much more interesting. The idea is to get your five laddies from your start, or dock, here, round the board into the safety of your castle. At the same time, you're also trying to stop your opponents doing the same. You do this by landing on their laddies and sending them back to their dock to start all over again. The main difference with Stramash is that instead of using dice, Stramash uses cards. So you don't have to rely purely on the luck of the dice. And this changes the game completely. At the beginning of the game, each player is dealt five cards. When it's your go, you pick another card from the top of the pack. This means that you have six cards and therefore a choice of six potential moves to play. For example, you might choose to play a 10, which moves you 10 places closer to the safety of your castle. Or you may decide it's time for a bit of revenge or ruthlessness and play a card specifically designed to bump an opponent's laddie and wheel him back to his dock. This is when the tactics and strategy come in, so it becomes much more of a thinking person's game. But it's still very easy to learn, because the cards more or less do what they say. A 9 moves 9, a 5 moves 5, and so on. Face cards, they're worth 10 when you're going round the board, but you also need to play a face or an ace to get your laddie out of the dock to get started. There are three cards in the game that have very special characteristics. The seven can be divided between two active laddies. For example, this laddie could move six to knock an opponent off, while his other laddie moves one. Or you could do a five and a two, or a four and a three. The eight can only move backwards. Very useful. Then there's the Bonnie Fechter, something of a super card. Now if I play a Bonnie Fechter, I can move my laddie from anywhere on the board. So for instance, if I was green, I could take this laddie from my dock and move him to knock off any active laddie I choose. A smart move because now I'm very close to home. And that's where the tactics come in because I might have been waiting to play him until someone came all the way around the board and then get him. Because we use cards, there's much more variation and endless permutations. The fun and excitement in the game is all in the stramashing, knocking each other off, sending them back to the start. It's important that players are close enough to each other to ensure plenty of interaction and that the board is balanced with no empty wide open spaces. That's why we make the board in this rather unusual way. You see each piece interlocks so you can change the size of the board to suit the number of people playing. So for example, six board pieces for six people, three for three, and so on. Two players use four sides. You can learn how to play Stramash in a few minutes, but the more you get into it, the more you start to think about your two or three moves ahead and anticipating what you think your opponents are trying to do and doing your best to put the mockers on them. It's all a bit of a stramash.